morning, everybody. It is uh, Monday morning and um, it is a dreary day out. But uh, even though it's dreary, it's still a good day to um, come together and share stories and think about what think about um, ecology and, and all that. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. So do you remember last week I started sharing to you one of my favorite stories, The Womp World. It is um, by Bill Peet. And we talked about this. And we talked about this place, this world, this world in which these creatures lived. Let me stick this over there. So these creatures in the story, they're called the Wumps. Remember? What do you remember about the Wumps? What do we know about these guys? And yeah, look at them. They're kind of peaceful. They're quiet. They live in a place called the Wump World, their world. And it's a perfect world for them. Do you remember? It's a small world, just like ours. There's no big oceans. There's no lofty mountains. There's no giant forests. Okay? It's mostly grassy meadows, like my outside. I showed you my meadow. So it's a grassy place. There's winding little um, streams and, and lakes. And it's perfect for the Wumps. They love it there. But in any story, if it's a good story, it's not going to be all about, this is a perfect little place and the Wumps were so happy. There's always a problem. So do you guys remember where we left off the last time? There was something that happened on Wump World. And I talked to you a little bit about the word pot-bellied. Because in the story, it said one morning... The wumps were awakened by a far off humming sound. It seemed to be coming from somewhere above. And as the humming grew into a heavy roar, the sleepy eyed wumps, they were sleeping, crept through the trees for a peek at the sky. Zooming straight for the earth came a flock of pot bellied monsters with tails and fins, spitting fire and shooting out streaks of black smoke. Remember, we talked about that, and we had a whole discussion about what potbellied meant. Kind of this potbellied stove and a potbellied pig, but are pigs and, and stoves coming out of the sky? It said a flock of potbellied monsters. Mm. A flock means a, um, a whole bunch of birds. So, so something's flying in from the sky. They're like, they're like monsters. They're spitting fire. They're shooting out streaks of black smoke. My God. Are they dragons? Did you guys write in your journal? Did you draw a picture of what you thought was happening? Whatever is coming out of the sky, is that something that we want coming to Wump World? Oh my gosh, should I show you uh, what is coming out of the sky? Oh my gosh, look at what's coming out of the sky. What is that? What are they? Does that look like a, a good thing to come to Wump World? I wonder what the Wumps feel. Let me keep reading. We're going to write in our journal today. So you should have your journal about out. What are the pot-bellied monsters? That's the first thing you're going to be thinking about. What are those pot-bellied monsters? As the monsters swoop down to land... Huge legs sprang from their bulging sides. I forgot to tell you this. Bulging. Bulging is something that kind of spills over in a bulge. Like if you get a bulge in a tire, that's not a good thing because the tire sides sort of pop out. So bulging. So out of their bulging sides, and this word is going to come up, gaping. Gaping is like a big, giant hole. Wide open. So... Huge legs sprang from their bulging sides, bulging sides, and like gaping mouths, doors flew open, then ramps shot to the ground, and down the ramps came a horde of tiny creatures swarming out onto the meadow. A horde of tiny creatures. A horde is a whole bunch, and the word swarming means to just kind of like push. So out of the sky comes these pot-bellied monsters. They're like spaceships or something. And a ramp comes down out of this gaping door. 
hordes of tiny creatures come swarming down onto Wump World. They swarm out onto their meadow. These were the pollutions from the planet Pollutus. They had left their worn out old planet to start a new life in a new world. After such a long journey, the pollutions were overjoyed to find themselves on solid ground once again. So let's stop and think for a minute. What comes down from the sky? What, how is it described? What comes out of these things that come down from the sky? Who are they? In the story, they told us they were called the pollutions. Pollutions. And they came from the planet Pollutus. Why did they come here? Why did they come to Wump World? It says they were overjoyed. They were filled with joy and so entirely happy to find themselves on solid ground once again. Do you have an image in your mind of what's happening as the doors, as the doors come open and the ramp comes down and the and a whole bunch of tiny creatures just sh swarm onto the meadow. Here's how it's illustrated in the story. Take a look at that. Can we see their joy? They're jumping up and down. They've got their suitcases. They're all coming down on the ramp. Look at the black smoke that's coming down onto Wump World. What do you think? Take a minute to tell somebody next to you, or jot some notes down in your journal about what you're thinking right now about what's happening in Womp World. I kind of feel a little, a little sad for the Womps because I don't know. This does not seem good to me. I'm going to read a little more. They were all prattling, talking nonstop is prattling, prattling with excitement as they followed their leader, the topmost pollution and world chief across the meadow. At the top of the hill, the chief stopped for a look around at the surrounding countryside. Finally, he said, looks good. We'll take it. Plant the flag, Sergeant, and let's get things going. He takes a look around and finally says, looks good. We'll take it. Let's get things going. What do you notice in this picture? Hmm. What are you thinking right now? I'd love to have you guys write in your journals and share with me really deeply like what you're thinking about. What do you notice in the stories? Particularly, what do you notice on this page? You notice anything about the flag? What do you notice about the uh, maybe the sky and the people, these pollutions from planet Pollutus. Would you like them to come to our world, maybe? Hmm. He says, let's get things going. I wonder what that means. One shrill trumpet blast brought giant machines thundering out of the yawning spaceships. rolling down runways and out onto the meadow. The timid wumps had been watching warily from the shelter of the trees. And at the sight of the giant machines, they were horrified. Oh my gosh. So they talked about this word timid. Timid means really shy. Timid is shy and, and quiet and unsure, okay? So the wumps are like watching these creatures, these things come out of the sky. They think they're monsters, right? They're really just aircraft. They're spaceship that brought the pollutions from a planet. They land on the planet. They spring out these, they spring out these legs, and all these tiny creatures come swarming onto their onto their meadow. And they're 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 quiet. They're timid. They're shy. They don't they don't know what's happening. It must look scary to the lumps. Look at these things that come down out of out of the spaceships. What is happening? What's going to go on? The topmost pollution world chief said, 
let's get things going. I'm going to read one more page and then I'm going to have you guys respond in your journal today. What you're going to tell me is what are the pot bellied monsters? Who are the pollutions? Who are they? What do they want? What are they doing? What do they do? What do the timid wumps feel? And what do they do? Okay, and then I want you to draw a scene from this part of the story that's going to back up what you write. So, um, here we go. Read a little bit more. Oh my God, these poor wumps. The timid wumps had been watching warily. They don't know what's happening. That's what warily means. From the shelter of the trees and at the sight of the giant machines, they were horrified. They were horrified. Of course they, of course they're scared. Wump, wump, they cried. And in a wide-eyed panic, they went humpity clumping off through the trees to go diving headlong into the nearest cave. Wump, wump, they cried. Look at their faces. Where are they going? Why? What's happening on Wump World? What are you thinking as you hear this? So in your journal, I want you to record some of those ideas. I want you to draw a scene from this part of the story and tell me about it. What are the pot-bellied monsters? Who are the pollutions? What are they doing? What do they want? What is going on? And how do the wumps feel? They're, t they're timid and afraid. They're horrified. Where do they go? What do you think is going to happen next? After you write in your journals, um, take a picture of it, send it to me, um, upload it to Seesaw. So let's um, have a conversation and let's have a Zoom meeting and we'll talk about it. Hope you guys have a great day and I will get back to you tomorrow. Stay safe. Cheers.